Hey, what's going on everyone? It is Nick here at NJ's Bricks, and we have another top 10 coming at you today. This is the top 10 Lego Clone Trooper minifigures. Remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this content. First off, I gotta get a shout out to Reddit user DrunkenMonk77 for linking their list of all of the Lego Star Wars Clone Troopers in existence. That saved me a ton of legwork when I set out to make this video. I'll put a link to their Google Sheet down below in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself and see if there's anything I missed or perhaps you want to catch them all. Honorable mentions is where we're going to start off here. The first couple of honorable mentions that I wanted to touch on because they are among the cooler clones which employ the old school technique of cutting out the eye area from the helmet in order to show the headpiece below. And that is the Clone Trooper 327th Star Corps and the Clone Trooper Pilot Captain Jag. These two minifigures use that technique to great effect. And I also wanted to note the Clone Scout Trooper 41st Elite Corps, the Kashyyyk camouflage version, because it has some really weird but cool looking visor printing on the front there. And it packs a lot of detail in the printing across the rest of the figure. Still with a few more honorable mentions. These ones here are all going to be noted because they are among the cooler, colorful takes on the clone variants, including the Clone Bomb Squad Trooper, the Clone Shock Trooper Coruscant Guard, the Clone Trooper 187th Legion, the Clone Trooper 501st Legion 332nd Company. This is the 501st in Anakin's army that has the Ahsoka painting on the helmet piece. Clone Trooper Commander Wolf of the 104th Battalion, the Wolf Pack, and of course Clone Shadow Trooper Arf. It has a wild helmet shape there that's just so much different than its peers and the whole blacked out aspect of it makes it look super cool with that silver visor printing. Just a few more honorable mentions. We're going to get right into the top 10. We have the Bad Batch provided us some of the most unique clones that we have ever seen. And the honorable mentions list, I'm going to note Commando Sergeant Hunter, Arc Trooper Corporal Echo, and Clone Commando Commander Crosshair. And the last minifigure that was cut from my top 10, number 11, if you will, the last honorable mention is the Clone Airborne Trooper 212th Attack Battalion. I really enjoy the quality of the prints on this figure and the pops of color. The cool helmet shape and cloth comma almost combined to get this figure in the top 10. But as it sits, it is at number 11 on the list. Moving into the top 10, without further ado, we're going to start with number 10, the Imperial Scout Trooper from Episode 3, the Kashyyyk Trooper. To me, this is the coolest of all the old school LEGO Star Wars variant troopers. It employs the cutout visor technique that we talked about earlier with the black hat underneath to give the illusion of the tinted visor. And the sand green coloring is extremely unique among minifigures. It also has some pretty solid printing for an older style figure, including details on the hips and legs area. Moving now to number nine on the list, Special Forces Clone Trooper. I am a sucker for cloth accessory pieces and print detailing and this figure packs both the all blue coloring pops amongst any assortment of clone figures and the way it carries the torso printing through the hips and onto the legs is very detailed i have to say though the visibility on that helmet looks abysmal number eight on my list here we have clone trooper commander cody of the 212th attack battalion there have been a few different cody variants over the years and they're all pretty good but the newest version is certainly the most detailed i love all of the little armor wear and tear and the dirt mark across the prints. They add a ton of character and individuality to the minifigure. While the orange always pops against the white extremely well, I love that this guy also has feet printing too. Number seven on my list of the top 10 Lego Star Wars Clone Trooper minifigures, we have the Clone Airborne Trooper Geonosis Camouflage version. This unique clone variant features some of the most detailed printing among any of the LEGO Star Wars Troopers of any variety. In addition to all of the regular armor printings, this figure also features a multicolored camouflage print on the legs, hips, torso, and helmet that combine with that unique base color to make a very detailed variant. Number six on the list, Clone Trooper Captain Rex of the 501st Legion. I had Rex at various different places on this list, but I always knew that I would have him on the list. Much like Cody, the latest version of Rex packs the most punch as the the latest one features a little extra detailing on the torso as opposed to the previous versions and some awesome cloth accessories to boot. As with previous versions, the helmet is instantly recognizable and I will always love the way that the blue pops against the white. Moving into the top five is a figure that I have never owned and that is Clone Trooper Commander Gree of the 41st Elite Corps, the Kashyyyk Camouflage. This figure is absolutely packed with details 
from the multicolored greens on top of the silver helmet to a variety of colors throughout the camouflage prints on the torso, hips, and legs. I am always a sucker for off-colored arms because they pop so well against the torso, and Gris has a subtle but nice contrast in that regard, which makes him a very cohesive and detailed figure overall. Number four on my list of the top 10 LEGO Star Wars clone minifigures, we have Clone Commander Tech from Clone Force 99, aka The Bad Batch. And if you know of the Bad Batch, then you noted during the honorable mentions which of the figures I had left out. And unsurprisingly, that was because they maybe possibly have cracked the top 10. This is an awesome figure, the rare modern figure that employs the cutout visor effect so you can see the detailed printing on his goggles on the headpiece. The custom and unique helmet is definitely the star of the show, but it does not lack elsewhere either. The front and rear of the figure feature some awesome detailing in the printing, and a small pack full of technology in the back is included as well. Down to number three on this top 10, the final three, we have Clone Commando Wrecker from the Bad Batch. Barely edging out his comrade, Tech is my favorite Bad Batch minifigure, Wrecker. In some ways, Echo is perhaps a more detailed figure, but Wrecker packs a bit more of a punch for me. I love the subtleties and the variation of all the grays and silvers throughout the printing on this minifigure, and the prints on both the armor and the helmet pieces are excellent. Wrecker has an equally detailed and accurate face printing, and for my money is the best of all the Bad Batch minifigures. Moving into the number two overall, the silver position on the podium, number two on the top ten list is Clone Trooper Commander Fox of the Coruscant Guard. While Commander Fox may not pack as many extracurriculars as some of his peers on this list, it is definitely one of the absolute most striking of all of the clone variants. The blood red coloring is impossible to miss, but it pops even harder against the white bottoms of those dual molded leg pieces. The printings across the torso, hips, and legs of the minifigure are all excellent, and the helmet has some nice printings of its own. It's a close race near the top of this list, but Commander Fox slides into the number two spot. And number one on my list of the top 10 Lego clone minifigures, we have Clone Arc Trooper Hammer of the Rancor Battalion. And I remember absolutely nothing about this character from what I can only presume had to be an appearance in the Clone Wars because of the Clone Wars headpiece here, but I do know that it is absolutely the most baller variant of all the clone minifigures. It is the only one of the clones to feature double cloth pauldrons, which looks extremely regal, and it adds a cloth comma piece as well. It comfortably employs white maroon and sand blue with a compelling balance across all of the prints, which are plentiful and very detailed. For me, it is the coolest of all the clone variants, and it comes in at number one on my top 10 LEGO Star Wars Clone Trooper minifigures. Comment below and let me know which was your favorite minifigure. What would you put at the top of your list? And like and subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel, and I'll see you next time.